the authors do not have any financial interests to disclose. White intumescent cataracts are a common problem in a country like India. The main problem associated with white intumescent cataracts is a very high intralenticular pressure which makes the rexis very difficult. This animation shows the increased intralenticular pressure from both the anterior and posterior aspects of an intumescent cataract which pushes the lens forward increasing the chances of the rexis escaping to the periphery. Argentina flag sign wherein the rexis gives way in two directions is not uncommon in white intumescent cataracts. This Argentina flag sign can be prevented to a large extent by certain maneuvers which will be shown in this video. What is the problem with the Argentina flag sign? The problem with the Argentina flag sign is that the rexis, because of the extension, can extend across the equator and reach the posterior capsule, thereby producing a posterior capsule rupture and even a nucleus drop as seen in this video. Once the Argentina flag sign occurs, FACO can be completed by making a small semicircular rexis on either side. A direct chop technique called the karate chop is being used in this case. The cataract is emulsified in the iris plane or to a certain extent in the anterior chamber with the endothelium being protected with a good viscoelastic like viscoat which is used at regular intervals to inflate the anterior chamber. In this particular case, the Argentina flag sign is converted into a semicircular rexis on either side with a successful implantation of an intraocular lens into the bag. The patient did very well postoperatively with a vision of 6-6-N6. To prevent the Argentina flag sign, a new technique called panchorexis has been developed. What is panchorexis? A straight tip, either a 15 degree or 0 degree, with a bevel down is directed down towards the center of the anterior capsule and a sudden burst of phaco emulsification with a phaco power of 40% and a vacuum of 350 to 400 millimeters of mercury is used. Due to the sudden burst of FACO power, there is a sudden decompression of the bag and the Argentina flag sign does not occur. This animation shows panchorexis decreases the intralenticular pressure, debulks the nucleus, thus allowing for a successful completion of the rexis. In this video, a straight tip 15 degree bevel down is used to go down into the center of the capsule, giving a punch. When making the punch, the surgeon should go down full throttle on the foot pedal. This technique is called panchorexis. Once a punch is made in the anterior capsule, there is a sudden decompression of the capsular bag and therefore no tendency for the anterior capsule to extend to the periphery preventing the Argentina flag sign. In this case, after the punch, a round regular rexis is completed using the utrata forceps. In panchorexis, bevel down straight tip is used and in one stroke a punch of the anterior capsule is made. At the same time, a burst of phaco emulsification is given, thereby debulking a small part of the center of the nucleus and preventing the anterior capsule from extending to the periphery, thus avoiding an Argentina flag sign. 
If you notice the center of this nucleus, there is a small debulking of the center caused by a sudden burst of phaco power which has helped in reducing the intralenticular pressure. The rexis is round and can be completed either with an utrata forceps or with a needle, whichever the surgeon is comfortable with. Punch can also be done with a Kelman or any other bent tip, but preferably to be done with a straight tip which is easier to do with a shorter learning curve. The precision of a femtorexis which not all surgeons can afford to achieve a perfect rexis in a hypermature cataract can be successfully done with a panchorexis. Panchorexis can be followed by a technique called phacorexis. In phacorexis, the phaco needle is used bevel down to do the rexis by aspirating the anterior capsular flap. A bimanual technique like a Sinsky hook or rod is used through the side port. As you can see in this video, the capsule is aspirated slowly and steadily with excellent control. This technique is called phacorexis wherein after the punch with phaco burst, the rexis is completed using the phaco probe with great control thereby preventing the Argentina flag sign. What you saw in this video is a panchorexis followed by a phacorexis. The take home message is in white intumescent cataracts. To prevent an Argentina flag sign, panchorexis can be done very effectively or panchorexis followed by phacorexis can be done very successfully in completing the rexis 200% of the time. Mm -hmm.